AI at Mercari. The Edge AI team is developing features to provide brand new user experience, UX, and execution of machine learning, ML, on devices such as smartphones. Mercari already provides AI listing, which is an AI assisted technology that detects what customers want to list on the Mercari market. AI listing pre fills item names, listing categories, and brand names, along with many other things. For example, let's say you take a picture of a mug and upload it on Mercari. Mercari will then send the photo to the server and fill the item name as mug cup, categorize the photo as kitchenware, and set the suggested price as 299 yen. This is already an extremely useful tool for potential sellers, but wouldn't it be even better if we could update this process by not having to take the photo? What if all you had to do was to start up your smartphone camera, put your item in focus, and then have all the required information appear on your screen? AI assisted features, like the ones that extract information from item photos, have historically been implemented by applications, accessing a server that uses ML models to infer a result from the customer's inputs. The ML models themselves are trained somewhere else. The cost of computations required to make inferences in ML models are usually very expensive. Therefore, the calculations were usually done on relatively high end servers. Since applications need to go through the internet to access these servers, this also means that it usually takes anywhere from one second to several seconds for the applications to obtain these results. While this may be a feasible delay for a single photo, if we want to simply hold the smartphone camera over the object and use the video as the input to perform computations, we would be sending a series of frames the individual images that make up the video stream. Then the delay for each image would compound and make this process unusable. Edge AI technology aims to solve this problem by utilizing the recent advances in smartphones and developing new ML models for which computation costs are lower than previous models. Now, inference computations can be done directly on smartphones instead of making a round trip to the servers. By doing this, the applications are able to receive important data in a matter of milliseconds. Instead of taking photos and sending them to the server, Edge AI makes it possible to get the results in near real time while holding the camera over the items. As an added bonus, this technology also allows you to examine multiple items at once. By updating the AI component for users, Edge AI technology helps customers have a better experience. Edge AI is no different from other types of AI technology in that we need to collect data, define the model, and then update the parameters. However, there is one major task that needs to be done after these processes. AI models typically end up ranging from tens of megabytes to gigabytes large, which is a problem when trying to incorporate it in an edge device. For example, storage availability may not be as abundant as when we host it on the server side. In other words, the AI models need to be made much smaller. Our team uses TensorFlow to train our model. At the end of the training process, we apply what is called quantization to our model to make it smaller. Quantization basically trades some accuracy for smaller size. Our model normally expresses its data in 32-bit chunks, but by quantizing, we can express data using 16 or 8-bit chunks. There are a couple problems that we need to be aware of during the quantization process. The first one is the decline in accuracy. As previously mentioned, by decreasing the amount of data we store, we are sacrificing some accuracy. 
The actual difference depends on the task or the types of model that you use, but prediction accuracy may drop by as much as 10% if we're not careful. The second problem is the compatibility with the devices that the models will be executed on. Recent devices such as smartphones come with powerful GPUs that can be leveraged to process predictions using our models, but some of them have restrictions in the types of data that they can process. Some GPUs can only calculate using 32 or 16-bit floating point numbers. Therefore, if we quantize our models to 8 bits, we would not be able to leverage the GPUs on the customer's phones. Taking this into account, our purpose is to train our models in 32 bits and quantize them to 16-bit models. Once we have our models, the next step is to utilize it from our applications. The important factors here are the processing time for making predictions and the heat that is generated by the device. Initially, we are trying to process all the streaming images generated by the smartphone. A typical camera stream processes about 30 frames per second. This means if we were to process each of these images, we would have to process each image steadily for 30 times a second, or at a pace less than 30 milliseconds per image. This would in turn result in faster battery usage and also would generate more heat from the chips. To mitigate this, we use a library called MediaPipe, which was developed to specifically process streaming media. MediaPipe allows users to apply some processing task to a frame while applying another to the next frame. By using MediaPipe, we separated the process of object detection and object tracking. Object detection is the process of identifying a unique object from an image, while object tracking is the process of tracking the same object through multiple frames of an image. While object detection takes up a significant amount of time to process, object tracking is relatively faster to perform. Therefore, in our case, we can apply object tracking to every frame and apply object detection for only a few times per second. Using MediaPipe, we can achieve the same results by executing 100 predictions on our models over a period of five minutes. In contrary, to if we were to implement this naively, it may require as many as 9,000 predictions. This allows us to implement object detection and track applications while keeping the battery use and heat generation to a negligible amount. It is important to keep monitoring and updating performance after embedding the models in the applications. On top of monitoring the prediction accuracy with Edge AI, it is also important to make sure that the models are able to provide the expected user experience on devices with vastly different specs. For this, we have developed a tool called Jetfire that monitors the model permanence on multiple devices. When we add new features or update the models, we can use Jetfire to install the application on multiple devices and record their performance. We measure object detection performance as well as the overall performance of the application while executing object detection and object tracking. Thanks to Jetfire, we have discovered that the changes are not directly related to the AI models, which means there may be performance degradations. For example, application performance suffered in some devices with lower memory bandwidth despite the fact that the performance for object detection through Jetfire was not suffering as much. At the end, we realized that on these devices, it was the image resolution that ultimately worsened the performance by a factor of 20. So we lowered the image resolution settings to avoid this degradation. Removing one step of the item listing process may seem like a small change, but in reality, Automating and removing the task has a significant impact on the user experience, which could lead to dramatic improvements in our application. Edge AI will most likely play a crucial part in many applications as mobile devices become more advanced. 
Mercari is looking into further ways to take advantage of this technology. The AI team at Mercari is always striving to make customer experience better through the use of AI. If you are interested in these kinds of projects, please don't hesitate to contact us from the link in the description.